Hello, this is Jan from the Fuzzy Duckling with you again on our Flamingo Projects. And today we're going to work on an art journal page. You could also use this as a scrapbooking page or hang it on your wall, but we're going to call it an art journal page. See our flamingo here with our uh, fuzzy duckling saying of when in doubt stand on one leg which means just rest chill a while think about things so we are going to uh, need a few things you will need a piece of cardstock or some heavier paper a sheet a sheet of printed paper. This sheet I have here came out of an old dictionary and I love pictures that are drawn on old yellow dictionary pages. You could also use old book pages. How about a piece of old newspaper or music, an old music page. Any of these would be really neat to do this project on. You'll need, of course, your pencil, an eraser, a liner pen. You'll need some markers. Or, if you don't want to use markers, you can use colored pencils. Some chalk, if you wish. That's optional. And some stamp sets or stickers to do some lettering with along with if you're using a stamp set you'll need your um, ink something like this let's see that is about all you'll need a pair of scissors these normal everyday things that we use in crafts so let's get started the first thing we need to do is get our flamingo drawn on. Now, this is using the flamingo that you learned how to draw in our last video, which was how to draw a flamingo. And I will try to remember to link that below. So actually, the first thing you'll need to do is do that, go through that video and see how to draw your very own flamingo. And once you've watched that and you know how to do that, you need to draw your flamingo on your page. Now mine is actually drawn here. I drew it a little bit earlier and what you're going to find out, at least I did, is it's kind of hard to see your to see your uh, pencil lead on here. I don't know, maybe you can kind of see that there. There, closer now, yeah, now we can see it. I went ahead and drew my flamingo on there to save some time. But I drew him just like we learned how to do in the Draw the Flamingo video. Now, for me, the next step is going to be inking my flamingo. By inking, we mean we're going to outline it with an ink pen. But you'll want to be sure and use a waterproof ink pen for this. Mine says it right on it. I have a Stedler pigment liner, and it says waterproof on paper. Now, if you're not sure if your pen's waterproof, test it out on a scrap piece of paper and go over that with markers or a little bit of water to see if it smudges. If, you, if it smudges, then what you need to do is don't line it yet with your ink. What you'll need to do, now this is only if you use markers because markers are wet. You'll need to put all your marker color in and once that's done, you can go over the top of your marker with your ink pen and then it won't smudge. Now, if you're using colored pencils, it won't matter because colored pencils don't smudge anything. They're wonderful media to use. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to ink my flamingo and I will fast forward through this. So you don't have to watch every line I make. Now, 
there we go I have my flamingo all inked and now I need to go in and erase any pencil lines that are still showing now I found that using the eraser on this yellow pencil while it works for most things it really doesn't like my older vintage paper here it kind of smudges it and makes it look dirty but I have found that this kind of eraser works just great. I buy these at Walmart, probably any business store will have them, or um, office store. Or just try out your art erasers and see if you can find one. But test that out on another sheet of paper too, because you don't want to smudge your erasing all over your picture. But I have found that this one has a fairly soft eraser that takes it off cleanly without hurting my paper underneath because this is a fairly old piece of paper and we don't want to uh, damage it with smears and wrinkles and things like that there I think I got everything pretty much I do see one little line I forgot up here is the line on his beak which is a dark showing the dark beak okay now our next step will be coloring him in now I'm going to color my flamingo pinky color just like most flamingos are you know, you can make your fling, flamingo any color you want. You can make it purple, red, blue, whatever you want. I kind of like mine to look like flamingos look. So I'm going to use my marker. Now I use Cali Art. Another good marker to use is just use your Sharpie markers. Those work very well. And I have nothing against Sharpie markers. So we need to make our base color here of our pink where his feathers are. Okay, there's my pink laid down, my base pink. And now I want to put in a color for his legs, but I do see I missed a little piece here. I call these little feathers on their legs little flamingo shorts. <laughs> All right, now flamingos, I really can't tell you what color flamingos' legs are. I've looked and looked at flamingos, and it seems like it kind of differs by where the flamingos live. And usually they kind of have pinky legs. But on mine, I'm going to use this, uh, it's kind of a beigey color on mine. So you use whatever you want. You could get you a lighter pink and do the legs in a light pink. That would look good. So we're just going to color the legs in. All right, there's his legs. Now the tip of his beak is black. You can either use your marker for this or use your pen for this. Now there's a little odd thing about doing this beak though. Notice we have a black line that comes along here. And when I color this black, this line's going to disappear and I don't want that. So I'm going to make a separate little line right here alongside it. Can you see that? This line right alongside it. This little space in the middle of that we're going to leave unmarked, uncolored, so it looks white. So let's color all around the outside edges here. Ooh, I kind of covered more of that than I wanted to, but it'll be all right. Okay, 
Okay, you see how when we colored that in, it left a little white line there to show you where the opening of his beak went on down below. The only other thing that needs a base coat right now is the rest of that beak. And for white, I like to just use my white colored pencil because I don't want to cover up the words or anything. So you can just come in with a white colored pencil and color in that white beak and that works out just fine. Now with my pencil, I'm going to make this line show a little better. Now you have the base coat of your flamingo all colored and you can stop there if you want. But I do like to put in a little shading and a little highlighting. Now I'm using what they call an alcohol marker. So when I make lines on top of it, this is the same color I used here, but I can go back over with this color and the second coat will make it darker. Now I don't think that's going to work that way with your sharper, Sharpies. So what you do in that case, if your marker doesn't do this, is just get a marker that's a little darker in color and go over this to make your shadow lines. Or you can also use colored pencils over your markers and they work just fine. So find you a colored pencil that's just a little darker, go in and lightly put in a layer of shadows. And of course, if you're doing colored pencils, you will need to do the same thing. Just get a little darker colored pencil and make your shadow lines. And if you uh, didn't take our um, drawing, a vid uh, drawing a flamingo video, the second video in that shows you how and where to make your shadow lines and your highlights. So you might want to go watch that. But basically, we're just making shadow lines around most of the outlined area. It doesn't have to be real dark. Just dark enough that it sets your, your um, flamingo off. Can you see there where it's a little darker? It may not show up on the camera real well. So we're going to go around and do that on all the pink parts of his body. And again, I'll fast, fast forward through this so you don't have to wait for me and you can get to work on your own bird. There, I have finished adding shadow to the pink feathers of my Flamingo. Now we need to add some shadow area to his legs and do it the same way. Either go over with another layer of your marker or find a little darker marker or pencil to use to add some shadowing. There, we have added shadows to our legs. Now we're almost done with the coloring part. I do want to add some highlights. And I usually add my highlights again with my white colored pencil. So just gently go in, lightly color in some white. In these areas where you didn't put your shadowing. And this will make it look like there's a little bit of sun shining on your flamingo and it will give it a little more life and sparkle now I see I didn't put any feather lines in my wing which I'd like to so I'm going to take my marker again and add some feather lines there now I want to highlight between those to kind of show up each feather. It doesn't show much. It's a very subtle thing, but it really does make your picture look better. Now we want to come along and put a highlight line down the center of these legs. 
Very simple to do. On these knees, remember just emphasize that kneecap by highlighting a nice circle there, and maybe even on his ankle bone. Although that's not really his ankles. If you learn about the anatomy of a flamingo, this is really the ankle. These would be finger bones, which is really kind of funny. There we go. Now we have our flamingo colored. 